Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on femoral shaft fracture. Femoral shaft fractures are common, especially in high energy trauma. The femur is the longest bone in the body and a highly vascularized bone, due to its role in hematopoiesis. The bone is supplied by penetrating branches of the profunda femoris artery, therefore large volumes of blood can extravasate if it is fractured. For clinical features, the patient will present with pain or swelling in the thigh, hip, or knee pain, and unable to weight bear. In most cases, an obvious deformity will be apparent from the end of the bed. The proximal fragment is pulled into flexion and external rotation. Ensure to perform a full neurovascular examination of the lower limbs, to check for any vascular or peripheral nerve injury. For classification of femur fractures, the Winquist and Hansen classification can be used. Type 0, no comminution. Type 1, insignificant amount of comminution. Type 2, greater than 50% cortical contact. Type 3, less than 50% cortical contact. And lastly, type 4, segmental fracture with no contact between proximal and distal fragment. For investigations. Routine urgent bloods, including a coagulation and group and save, should be sent. Where a pathological cause is suspected, further workup bloods, such as a serum calcium, may be warranted. For imaging, plain X-ray of femur, including hip and knee should be done. CT scan if suspecting polytrauma, to further assess intraarticular or femoral neck fractures. This is a picture showing an AP view of plain film radiograph, demonstrating a mid-shaft femoral fracture. For management, manage following ATLS guidelines, ABCDE assessment, stabilize patient, and ensure appropriate fluid resuscitation. Give adequate pain relief. A femoral shaft fracture requires immediate reduction and immobilization. Open fractures will need to be managed appropriately, including antibiotic prophylaxis, tetanus, and medical photography. For surgical management, femoral fractures should be surgically fixed within 24 to 48 hours, although sooner if an open fracture. Most isolated cases can be treated with an antegrade intramedullary nail. External fixation, with subsequent delayed conversion to intramedullary nail, may be used in unstable polytrauma or open fractures, to ensure the patient is physiologically optimized prior to definitive fixation. Common complications following femoral shaft fracture include nerve or vascular injury, malunion, infection, especially with open fractures, fat embolism, and venous thromboembolism. That's all for this video. Thank you.